guys, what's going on? David Sight McGarland. Welcome to yet another DSG TV. And wow, great feedback in terms of you guys enjoying these sort of episodes where I go behind the scenes and talk about like all kinds of crazy shenanigans uh, that I very rarely talk about, you know, along sort of my entrepreneurial journey, successes and failures and shenanigans, all that kind of good stuff going on. And I got another interesting one today is, you know, I'm asked oftentimes and, and, and people are interested in sort of uh, failures, right? So what I mean by that is I don't necessarily view things as, you know, utter despair failures, but more importantly, like sort of, you know, learning lessons or something that didn't work out that you can then kind of pivot away from. So let me tell you a little story about something that uh, didn't work out so well for me and I learned a lot from it as well. So you guys have heard my saying that I, I say all the time, which is money follows passion and not the other way around. So meaning that if you're not passionate and excited about your business, you know, it's going to be very difficult to have long-term success for sure. You know, it doesn't matter what business you're in, it's going to be very hard to have long-term success. Um, you know, it doesn't mean that you necessarily have to wake up, you know, like living and breathing passion, like in one of those cheesy romance novels. That's not what I'm talking about. But I mean, if you're not excited about what you're doing, right, you're in, you're in kind of the wrong industry. So why that quote happened was because before that, I once didn't follow my own advice. So 2006 to 2000 you know, eight-ish, almost 2008, um, I was, you know, basically in charge of a professional inline hockey league here in St. Louis. So hockey on wheels, I've talked about it before. Maybe I'll talk about it in some future episodes, but I was in charge of marketing. And then the second year I was in, you know, kind of um, did everything for the league, you know, everything from cleaning the bathrooms to getting sponsorships to getting fans and tried my best to make it, make it happen. Now, after I sort of burnt out on pro inline hockey and I was ready to move on to something big, Gur, I didn't know exactly what to do. So a lot of people think that I just went from pro inline hockey and I went directly into the rise to the top uh, in 2008. But there was actually a two or three month period in there where there was something that I tried and almost and pretty much got off the ground and realized that it was a, a mistake. So let me explain what it, what happened. So over the last couple of years with pro inline hockey, 2006 2008, I became pretty decent at signing sponsorships and advertisers, you know, so I, I had built some relationships, I, I'd gotten the sponsorships, we, we'd been, we, you know, we had some pretty cool companies, I gotta be honest, on board, Anheuser-Busch, Pepsi, UPS, stuff like that, and I kind of learned how to do it, and I was like, okay, this is pretty cool, so my idea originally was to do an agency, and that's why sometimes online you see stuff like the DSG agency or David Seitman Garland agency, so my idea was to do an agency where basically what I would do is I would have relationships with sponsors and then I would match the sponsors up with like things that they were interested in, you know, events or things that they could sponsor. And then I'd earn some kind of, you know, commission basically on those sponsorship sales. So companies would hire me and sponsors would hire me or whatever. And I'd earn a commission on the sales and I would, you know, do it, do it that way. So I, I did everything. I got the branding ready. I got the website ready. I had some clients already, but and, and, and let me tell you, by the way, that this idea could have been very, very successful. But guess what? And this is the key lesson right here. Could it have been successful? Yes. But I wasn't excited about the idea of just doing sponsorships all the time. Because what I realized was my passion or my excitement wasn't with the sponsorships of Pro Inline Hockey. My, my excitement was with Pro Inline Hockey itself. And sponsorships were just a way to kind of monetize that vision and that dream same thing when I started the rise to the top. Like when I started the rise to the top, we were very reliable on sponsors and advertisers. I was excited about that because I was excited about the rise to the top and the opportunity to do it. I wasn't necessarily excited about just sponsorships in general, meaning like, you know, getting sponsors for other random events and random people. That didn't get me going. That didn't get me wake up in the morning like excited by any means. So, you know, I kind of took a lesson there and I said, you know, I have two options. I could try to build this business and sort of, I don't know, hate it, if you will. Meaning like, you know, even if it was kind of successful, I just, it wasn't enjoyable creative work for me. Or I could say after just a couple months of doing this, I was just like, you know what? I, I, I got to do something else. And, and I went with the gut and I shut down what we were doing. And then that's when the idea for the rise to the top ended up coming in a coffee shop uh, right around that time. So the, the lesson there or the mistake, you know, was, was not following the passion or the excitement and following kind of, 
you know, what would quote unquote make the most money, but wouldn't be fulfilling or interesting to me, uh, you know, across the board. So that was one of my lessons in, in terms of, you know, a lot of insights and things that I learned from that. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I want to hear your thoughts on it. And again, you know, I love kind of opening up for you guys. It's stuff I don't talk about a ton. And, you know, I know you guys want to hear about this because I hear about it in the comments, but let me know if you're enjoying these sort of personal insights and stories and things like that, because I've got a million of them, you know, good, bad, everything in between that I'll be sharing them on DSG TV. So make sure to subscribe up. I've got an email box coming up. Get on the Rise VIP email list. You'll get videos like this. And then also I'll send out the interviews that I do with cool people telling their story and advice and more on Thursday. So Get that as well, DSG TV on Monday. Uh, get the uh, Rise to Top episodes on Thursday. Here come the email box, and I will see you next time.